Hello and welcome to a very, very quick tutorial this time. I've had a couple of comments on some of my other videos and some of you just want to know how to drill through a tile without breaking it. So I'm going to show you that now. You need very, very little equipment at all. You're going to need a hand drill, obviously, but possibly the most important part is this bit that you can hopefully see on the end of that hand drill there. That's a glass tile bit. They're very easy to find in any hardware store. Um, in England, Screwfix, B&Q, obviously if you're in Australia in the States, just your local hardware store is going to have these. That's a, a tile drilling bit, basically, or it's also a glass drilling bit. It's very important before you start that your drill, when you're using the drill, you don't have it on hammer action. It's only on drill action. If you have it on hammer action, it's going to vibrate against the tile and it's going to shatter it and you're going to spoil all your nice work. So this is really for us, you're just going to hang a tail ring like you can see possibly down here um, or anything else you might be hanging in a bathroom so what I've done here is I've marked up here but if I just start drilling on this now when I start to drill because this tile is a high gloss it's going to slip around and I don't want it to slip around I want it to be very very precise because I've measured it precisely so what we need is a bit of masking tape it's probably better if you use clear stuff because you'll be able to see your mark underneath it. But I'm, I'm just going to mark it out again anyway. So there you go. It's just a bit of masking tape. It's going to go over exactly where I want the drill to go. Okay. The reason that's there is to get it to grip. That's all I want it to do, just to get that to grip. Now, I'm just going to follow just going to re-measure what I did there just to get my mark once more which is just there now all I've done is with the pencil I've basically marked a little cross on there so if you just bring that just slightly more forward here's what, I, here's what I'm going to do okay there's the drill bit. I'm pushing that against there. It's on the cross. And there you go. That's gone through. Now I'm just going to brush this away. Take this off. Okay. If I just take now and zoom. If I just zoom in now, you'll just see that that is a completely clean hole there okay now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put the plug into that which I'm just going to switch the camera off now pop the plug in there and just show you how to pop a plug in without splitting the tile when you tighten the screw up here I have the plug I'm just going to place the plug just inside there I've now pushed that in but I've pushed it in flush okay none of it's protruding that's not going to be enough because otherwise what will happen is when a screw goes in and a screw gets tightened up what will happen is that plug will expand and at the moment it's at the start the very front of the tile so what we want to do is just push it in ever so slightly and hopefully you can see that that is just recessed ever so slightly and I'll show you the reason why just now well I'll show you what actually happens to a plug when a screw goes inside of it because what would happen is if that expanded it would just crack the tile along here and along here obviously once again we don't want that to happen okay I'm just going to show you myself what happens when a screw goes into the plug this is the plug we basically just pop this into the wall we popped it through the tile and into the wall and here's the screw that I'm going to screw in there if you just watch what happens when the screw goes into the plug just watch this as it tightens the plug starts to expand that's what it's doing inside the wall now if your plug is not recessed slightly inside the tile, that will start to expand right on the tile and that will crack it. And that's why we just recess it in ever so slightly. Okay, there you go. I've actually done both screws required for this. All that needs to happen now is I need to get the mirror. As long as I've done my dimensions correctly, done my measurements well, then the mirror just should hang straight on top of there. We know it's gonna be gripping and binding behind those tiles, but we've seen how the plug works. Let's have a little look, see how we've done.
Perfect, there you go. One mirror. Okay, thanks for watching. That's how you drill into a tile without damaging the tile, without ruining all your fine work on the bathroom. If you've liked this video, then please do click a like down below. Also, if you press the subscribe button, which will be just about there, it's the same shape as my badge, just about there. If you press click on that, then it will notify you when I do all the future DIY videos. Until next time, thanks very much for watching.